So Tom, we've been here for a couple of nights, haven't we? Yeah. Not upset anyone? No. We've got quite a few friends. I, I'm a bit disappointed that Mirabal and Ermintrude weren't here, because I said to them last night we we ordered some fresh milk, and then they're not here. That's cows for you. Don't honour agreements. So where are we going today? Um. Hours and hours away. Well, it probably will be the lot we have. We were moseying on down to Middlewich. See if there's any moorings down there. So we'll see you in a bit. Catch you later. So we've spent two nights here. Yeah, it was lovely. Um, Quite a few wasp out today, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit humid. We were very disappointed with the cows. I, I had a word with Mirabel last night. She said she, perhaps she was here earlier. Anyway, we've got milk. You've been talking to cows? I was talking to them last night. Because yeah. one of my Twitter friends said that the one on the right looked a bit of a sly cow. Well, I said, how dare you speak to Mirabel like that? But they've all, they've all buggered off. Anyway, slow, slow cruise to Middlewich, possibly. Don't know how busy it's going to be. Let's see. As you get closer and closer to Middlewich, there's an audible clue. Nino, Nino, Nino. Yeah. The sirens. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, we just had an ambulance go over that road, but. Come this Isn't evening, this true with pleased. every main town, city? Well, no, because they've got a pig pen, haven't they, in Middlewich? I'm, I can't believe you're actually using that terminology. Well, I come from a rough family. Oh, don't start that one again. It's so, it's so rough. You had horses as a child. I never had more than one at a time. Oh, sorry, you had one horsey. Yeah. Yeah, that done by aren't A Norse, you mean like a Viking? <laughs> no, I. I was never a member of the Pony Club, but I, I used to go to Jim Carner's. God. You know how I sail dinghies. My mother used to make a hot pot because it had last three days and it was cheap. She used to make, and, and it would also keep the house warm as well. And you're there, here going, well, we only had one horse, of course. You know how. I, been sailing dinghies for 40 years and I'm extremely good at it. Yes, yeah. Extremely good at it. And I used to wear the tattiest sailing gear you could imagine. Well, that was what it used to be like when, when we had horses. <laughs> Actually, I had a pair of jobbers that were for a girl and the zip was up the side. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think they thought that much of me when I was a kid. We've just had a bit of a clangy experience down there. There's, apparently, we've never seen it, but underneath this boat, there's a big thing about that big. You know about the weed hatch? No. You know about that? It's called a propeller. Do we have a propeller? Well, we've never seen it. No, we're not. Yeah, but we haven't blocked the bloody boat, have we? We need to get that done. Because I was aware that something was um, 
hitching a ride. What's that? We'll be back a bit later. We don't know what that is. We don't know what that was, but it's stopped now. I'm a bit worried about it though. Yeah, well, as soon as we can stop. I'd rather stop we'll, in Middlewich. We'll investigate. But there's a boat coming at me. I'll get an engineering. Uh, we'll go below in a moment and see what all the dials and digits are doing. But we've not had that before. Well, we don't know what that beeping noise was, but it's gone. Something to do with the battery charge. We've got a meter that tells us how much battery is left in. And because we, we, had, we, we spent 36 hours in that mooring and there wasn't much sun, so we, when we went to bed last night we were about 80% full. But when we got up this morning it wasn't registering anything. So we don't know if, if it's just not registering correctly or if all the electricity's run off. But that buzzer was a bit alarming but it's gone. So we're going to carry on to Middlewich and then investigate. That's the plan. Yeah. Wow! He landed on the table. What was the best front end for the device? The one thing I love a boat up me chuff. Well, they've backed off a little bit now. Uh, uh, yeah, only because they've seen that boat coming the other way, I think. Really, you're on the wrong right. Anyway, if they want to overtake us, they can. We'll ram them into shallow water. Be nice. Yeah. Well, this isn't a very pleasant cruise. Still got a boat up me chuff. Not moaning. Tom will kill me if I let it come past. No. He's dropped down a bit again. He's there. I know he keeps getting close and then dropping back. That's nice. Keep telling us he's here. Yeah, I know he's here. We never did fit those rear torpedoes, did we? Oh, yeah. What is this the moaning channel? Yeah. Didn't we use an umbrella somewhere around there? Okay, here's our dance. They're stopping, they're stopping. And relax. You can slow down. We've got an unknown, unquantifiable electric problem. Somebody chasing our chuff. They've gone now, they've moored up. I know. It just right. takes all the fun no, out no, of no, boating for me. I can never understand. We've had this before where people are in such a rush and they're pushing and pushing and pushing. So and then, then, then they moor up. They moor up. So, they're anyway. ruining their pleasure, they're ruining our pleasure, and now they've pulled I'll up. I'll be the first to admit it, it completely ruins boating for me. I want to be able to go at this speed and relax. Yeah. Watch and the, then watch your viewer birdies. doesn't listen to us moaning for 20 years. Your mum's used to it. Oh, uh, well, she's, she used to call me a moaning mini when I was a kid. Well, I think she's used to me moaning as well by now. <laughs> Pair together, aren't we? Well, well, I've tooted. I've had no response. I want to ask you a question. These are nice, expensive sunglasses you've got. Oh, Whose are they? Do you want to put them away somewhere safe? Yeah, the mine. Because the sun's gone in. I never, I never get to wear my own heavy glasses. I did it well. We're not past the winter door yet, are we? I'm going to say it now. What? Well, earlier on when we had a bit of a kerfuffle because we got something... You're enjoying it now. We got something wrapped around the prop. Forgetting the electrical problem because we, we, <laughs> we've got yet to discover what that is. But we almost came very close to doing something that we've never done before. What? 
Open in the weed hatch. Uh, still might have to at some point. We had Capricorn too that didn't have a weed hatch because it had, had, we had lift, an outboard. Could lift the uh, outboard up. Yeah, we used to get a lot of fishing line wrapped around there. And then we the had, cutter on Mucker. What yeah, muc Mucker had Mucker. some kind of rope cutter that shredded anything that got around the prop. I mean, and this, I know this Mucker one, means friend, but also... Yeah, this boat, we still haven't had the weed hatch yeah, we open yet. We've got flies all around you. I thought they were only on my trousers. Cut! What do you think? Well, Ethel's just had a wee. Eth Ethel's just had a wee wee. Only a little wee wee. Because this should have been an hour and a half journey. But say with everything with us. Triple it and then add, 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 add the first number you think of. Well, it's just, we just take our time. Ish. This is where we first met uh, David. First time. He's boating David. It was here. Yeah. On Ethel's second birthday. But it's not the first time I've met him. I thought it was, but then I realised I've seen him from car shows years ago. Well, yeah. But yeah, if you remember, we, we were going to Middlewich and we only got this far and me and you had a blazing row. Because, you know, believe it or not, you wouldn't think people who, who have narrowboats ever argue with each other. But they do. They do. And we had a blazing row and we stayed there. We have a blazing row every day. Well, I know, but... I mean, not a Pe day goes by that I don't call him an old goat. I go, oh, you're old goat. People like to think it's like... What's that, wo what's that woman? I don't know. I Debbie don't know. Reynolds. Always baking apple pie and everything in the world was great. If you watch other people's videos, you'd think that's how it was. But it is... Hey, up, oh, birds. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'm... Ow! You do that on my nose again, there'll be trouble. What? I, th I think I'm due my medication. I've seen a boat all morning and now there's, there's a lock, there's a lot there. Tom's chin wagging. I'm trying to hover because with Mr Wobbly I, I don't like to get off the boat if I can help it. Seems to be lots of nattering going on but no movement. Oh well. I've never seen such a kerfuffle at locks. Tom's out there helping and the boat's just taking 20 minutes to actually get in. And now the half winding, half a turn of the paddles. I can only assume that they used to be CRT volunteers. Tom said that the people on that boat that took about half an hour to get into and up the lock. He said he, he, he suffers with anxiety even more so than I do. <laughs> oh, enjoy the canals, mate. I don't know why they won't let me out. I don't know why they won't let me out. Oh, we're, we're there.
we've just canvassed the last four boats going that way as to how busy it is in Middlewich. And I think we're going to phone a friend. Because <laughs> we've got four different variations. Oh well. We can always just drop anchor in the middle of the canal. <laughs>